If you want to find out what the one biggest mistake is that I notice online entrepreneurs make, so coaches, consultants, trainers, therapists, counselors, people that share their knowledge, skill, and expertise online, if you want to find out what that one biggest mistake is that costs them clients, revenue, and just the joy of having a successful business online, keep watching. Hey, Mike Blissett here, founder of Speak Like a Bro Online, sharing ideas, tools, and techniques to help you speak with more confidence, make better videos, and grow your business online. On this channel, you see how-to tech and book review videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the one biggest mistake that I notice so many online entrepreneurs, people like you and me, so the coaches, the consultants, the trainers, the speakers tend to make, and I understand it. I used to make the same mistake myself, and I can tell you it costs, it costs time, it costs lost revenue, it costs missed clients being signed and being attracted to you, and it just kind of, it eventually it sucks the joy out of being able to run a successful online or offline business, and it's this, playing small. So let me ask you, do you play a smaller game than you would do if you had no fear? So that's why in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three ideas, three top tips that I use myself and share with my clients. And you know, whilst they're pretty simple, I think sometimes the most simple steps we can take are usually the most effective because they're the ones we take. So step number one is to just become aware of your self-talk and particularly your negative self-talk. So maybe you have an idea to do something in your marketing or maybe you watch somebody's video or you have an idea that you'd like to create an online course like whoever uh, has created an online course that you kind of admire or follow or like and then you, uh, then you tell yourself immediately, I can't do that. And for whatever reason, you don't have the skill, the knowledge, the expertise, or whatever story you tell yourself. And so really what I'm getting at there is that you come up with great ideas, you get inspiration, you get motivated all the time, and then it's a natural human instinct to kind of be our own worst critic. And so uh, it, it can become a habit to, to, to negate that idea uh, before you've done anything about it. So if you get an idea, if you spot something, if you if you see something that you would like to implement in your business and then you find yourself saying to yourself without having done anything about it, I can't do that. Um, I just want you to change it to a more empowering question and ask yourself, how could I do this? Or how could I make this work? Or how could this be possible for me? How could I make this possible for me? Whatever words fit into your, your mouth, how, whatever kind of language you use, just to ask a more empowering question. How could I do this? And just see where that takes you. Step number two is to decide and then do the main thing, the big thing. You know the big idea that you want to do? Yeah, that one is to do it. Now, Again, it might be breaking it down into its individual components, but you know what? It is about doing it. As Franklin Roosevelt said many years ago, and people like Brene Brown mentioned in her TED talk, it is about being in the arena. It's actually about doing it, about getting your hands dirty, about sometimes failing or making mistakes, but along the way, you're the one that's actually doing that. And remember, in your coaching practice, your speaker business, your mentoring, training, whatever it is you do, the person that is in the arena is the one that people are gonna look at and be attracted towards because that, that's what makes you a leader. It's not about, being a leader is not about never failing, it's about being in the, re, uh, the arena and being willing even sometimes to fail and learn from that failure and make it more successful the next time around. So that big thing, whatever it is, whether it's that online course, whether it's that YouTube channel, whether it's uh, speaking to groups of people, do it, do it. Just start, that's the main thing. That's number two, is to do the main 
thing. And then step number three, you're going to love this, shout it from the rooftops. Now, one aspect of playing small or smaller than we ideally would like to be is that we kind of dumb things down. We kind of whisper when we should whistle, when we should shout, when we should sing from the rooftops. And so that's what I want you to do. Now, obviously the rooftops uh, wouldn't really work because they're very high and probably nobody would hear you up there. But what I mean by, of course, the rooftops is however you want to market your business. So I've mentioned YouTube like several times, quite a few times in this video, that's one. And then there's all the social media, whether you are a, a, a YouTuber or an Instagrammer or a Twitterer or a Facebooker or a LinkedIn, whatever it is, or maybe a collection of those, is to start putting a concerted plan in place. And this is, for example, what I do is I'll create a spreadsheet. And so uh, I know what I'm gonna do. And I know that daily or weekly or a certain amount of days per week, I update those profiles and I just sing from the rooftops. So for you, what would that be? Would it be an Instagram? Would it be a Twitter? Would it be a YouTube account? And I'm not talking about one post every six months. I'm talking about singing consistently uh, from whichever platform you choose and to do it on a regular basis. One of the most important um, uh, uh, rules or aspects of business that I've, I've mentioned so many times in all of my videos and blog posts is this thing about being consistent, being regular and consistent with what you do. So whichever platform you decide to sing from or platforms, keep it consistent. So whether that's, it doesn't have to be daily, if you can make it daily, great, but it depends on the platform. For example, LinkedIn, um, it's really great to, you know, post there in, uh, you know, Monday through Friday, and that's great. And some people post at the weekend and that's good, but the majority of connections will be made uh, in the working week. So Monday through Friday, which is, that's, that's the regular. I know some people work at weekends and I train and speak at weekends as well, but. For, for that particular platform, the majority of the traffic is Monday through Friday. So just think about uh, what that would be for you for Facebook or whether it's a newsletter or Twitter. Um, and just be aware of when you're singing from that rooftop, um, are most people listening in the early evening or are they daytime or is it lunchtime? You know, when they're at work, you know, when do you get the most responses and uh, um, kind of learn from that and then when you uh, continue to sing, when you continue to post and upload your content, you kind of optimize those times, you concentrate on those times and just see what results you get. So thanks for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and also ringing that notification bell so that you get, you get a notification when I upload new content, which is usually every single week. Now, I have mentioned at various times in this video that my uh, online course, Speak Like a Pro Online, uh, is how I sing from that rooftop. And the thing is, uh, I'm relaunching it, so the doors are reopening for, for new students uh, next week. So if you want to uh, find out about that, and I'm going to give fr some free training away just to give you an idea of what's included on the program. So that is going to be free. You are going to have to sign up for it. And so I will put a link immediately below this video. So if you want to be there uh, next week to hear about when the doors open for this Speak Like a Pro online program, and uh, if you want that free training just to tell you some more about it, then follow that link immediately below and I'll be in touch. And since you're here on my YouTube channel, you might want to check out some of the other videos. You'll see them on the screen. And uh, remember, this channel is all about sharing ideas, tools, and techniques to help you speak with more confidence, make better videos, and grow your business online. I'm Mike Blissett. Look forward to seeing you next time.